Hi, I'm Peter McClelland. I'm with White Wilderness Sled Dog Adventures and this short video is going to help you prepare for your trip. This video is about hands, head, and your feet. They're the hardest parts to keep warm. First of all, just like the video we had that I hope you watched about the general clothing you should wear for a trip, you do not want to wear cotton. You're going to start with socks. You do not want cotton socks. They're going to hold on to any sweat. They're going to make your feet cold. Socks, wool, synthetic, they're going to come in different thicknesses. And you can wear more than one sock, but it's important that any sock that goes over another sock is loose enough that it does not constrict your feet. If it constricts your feet, you're going to have cold feet. So really good wool socks. Some people like to wear the liner socks, just thin, they're like underwear for your feet. But I personally don't like them, they just end up bunched up by my toes. But if they work for you, great. Here's another option. This is called a Bama booty. It just goes over your foot, adds a little more insulation. Now there are a lot of boots around. Each company makes boots, they put a temperature rating on them. And those temperature ratings are ridiculous. The only thing you know if one company says minus 20 on one boot and they say minus 40 on another boot is this boot is warmer than that boot. It does not mean you're going to be warm at any given temperature. There are a lot of boots out there like this one they'll put minus 20 on and it's ridiculous. You're going to have cold feet. It has no removable liner, does not have much insulation. You can see how it's just not very big compared to a regular boot or shoe. Same thing with hiking boots. They'll make these hiking boots. They'll insulate them. They'll call them good for 20 below. You're going to freeze with them. What do you want? You want a thick, heavy boot to keep you up off the bottom. And you're going to want a removable liner. This liner can be made of wool. This liner can be made of synthetic materials, different foam. It can be taken out. It can be dried. You can flare these out at night and the boot will dry. Dry boots mean warm feet. I know it will make you seem like you have really big feet and you're going to be clunking around, but that's how you stay warm. In the bottom, you can have more insulation. These liners are great. These little insoles, you put them in, get your feet away from the ground. Removable liners. The thicker the better. So this is even a thicker one. This one has a synthetic liner nice and thick. It's going to keep you warmer than if you have something over here. These military boots are the only boots we feel that work well that do not have removable liners. They're rubberized inside and out and this keeps the insulation from getting wet. These are the boots we rent so if you're going to rent boots this is what you're going to get. They work great and um, they'll keep your feet nice and toasty. Now let's say you don't feel like buying some of these expensive winter boots and you, but you have need for them. You already own a pair of insulated hiking boots like this. There's another option you can do and that are these Neos. This is an over boot. It's insulated. It's going to keep your um, snow with this built in gator from going into your boot. Add more insulation. Keep you off the ground so you can wear these hiking boots right inside here. So that might be something you want to consider if you already own a boot like this. All right, let's talk about hands. Now for your hands, I get really frustrated what's on the market today. It, you have to work hard to find a pair of mittens that are really worth it. But let's go over the whole scenario. If it's warmer, you can wear insulated gloves. These are not that warm though. So it's going to really need to be in the teens or higher for your trip. Um, some people wear them and they're happy with them, but generally speaking, gloves are a lot colder than mittens. The ideal way to go is to have some sort of liner glove like this. This is a simple fleece one. They make them fleece. They make them wool. Having these are great for you pop off your mittens, you can work with the dogs, you can work with your clothing, you still don't have to expose your hand. I would have at least three pairs of these for your multi-day trip. Um, it gets a little damp, throw it in the bottom of your pack, dry it at night, throw on a new one. These are a great way to go. Um, 
So then you're going to want mittens. And the ideal is that this will fit in your mitten easily. So you can just plunge your hand into the mitten. This is a great mitt. Um, this one's made by Marmot. Black Diamond makes some. There's a whole bunch. I hate to say it, but you're going to spend at least $85 on mittens. Over $100. Bucks. It's really easy to spend. These cheapies that are $25, they're junk. Um, but you can see, this does not constrict at the top that much. It has a pull tab, but I can throw my hand in here real quick. I'm good to go. I need to pop these off quick. It's easy. So this is a great mitten. Here's another one, same thing. A lot of people like to go with these choppers with the wool. This one's a little tougher to get on and off, but this is a great option as well. Nice and thick, nice and warm. So that's what I do for your hands. If you're a colder person, you're going to want to bring plenty of those chemical hand warmers. They do help a lot as well. Um, but hands get cold easy. This is not the place to save money. This is the place to get good mittens. Now, for your head, everyone thinks they need a hat. And you certainly do. But heads, just like the rest of your body, can be layered. Um, first of all, you're going to need to be able to cover up your face. Here's a simple neck gaiter that you can pull over and you can cover up your face. You'll want to have some ways to cover up your face. There's multiple ways of doing that. These balaclavas are nice and they can even be worn so that you pull them up over your face or in conjunction with one of these little neck gaiters. Layering works for heads as well. I like these nylon outer layer hats. They can go over something like this balaclava so it's much warmer. On a warmer day, I can skip this and just wear these. But a good hat is essential. If you have any questions on anything, feel free to let us know. If you're looking at a product, you're not sure about it, go ahead and either take a picture of it and email us, or if you're looking online, just send us a link. We'll be happy to evaluate it for you. We hope you have a fun, safe trip with us. We look forward to having you.